Hey, what's going on? Stefan Georgia here. And I want to show you how you can use AI, OpenAI, to write the lead for a sales letter in about two minutes, let's say. So this is coming from, I did a whole training called the six hour AI sales letter. Uh, it's not available right now to the public. You can get it by being a part of my mastermind, coming to the live event, or being a part of Genesis, which is a copywriting mentorship we do. I'm not trying to sell you, just if people want to ask, but this is from the training, super powerful, really cool, right? So I have this whole process. I'm gonna shut up and just show you. You don't need the best. Hey, right, look. So one prompt, write an emotional 1,000 word journal entry from the perspective of a man or woman who is list their primary pain point, he or she feels what's a, a dominant negative emotion to be creative. So let's say you're in the coaching space. Write an emotional 1,000 word journal entry from the perspective of a man who is struggling to get clients for his online coaching business he feels frustrated and hopeless, be creative. Or let's say you were gonna you know, teach coaches how to get clients, right? So I'm going into Playground by OpenAI, which is uh, also free, and then you have to pay for it for more prompts, I guess. But I'm, it's worth noting, I have my maximum length at 2000 here, and temperature is at 0 0.9. Temperature is your creative, creativity level for the AI. So lower temperature, like a 0 0.5, means it's going to be less creative higher temperature like a 0 0.9 means it's going to be more creative. Let's start there. So we've got this and let's go ahead and generate the prompt. We're going to let it write and then we're going to read through it. All right, so what did we get here? It's been six months now since I decided to take a leap of faith and pursue my dream of starting my own business. I opened up my own online coaching practice, and while I'm passionate and enthusiastic about what I'm doing, I can't seem to get enough clients to make a living out of it. I'm struggling to stay focused and motivated. I've been working hard to promote myself and my services, but with no success. Everywhere I look, I just see rejection. It feels like all my efforts have been in vain. Every morning when I wake up, I'm filled with hope that something good will happen, and every evening when I go to bed, I am disappointed and let down. It's also overwhelming and emotionally draining. When I started out, I was so motivated and energized, but now I'm beginning to feel like all, it's all pointless. It makes me so angry, frustrated, and anxious when I think of how much time and energy I'm putting into this, but with no reward. I feel like I'm stuck in a rut and I don't know how to get out of it. All I want to do is be able to make a living off of my passion and skills, but I'm starting to think that it's just not meant to be. I want to give up and just go back to my old job and forget this whole thing ever happened. I'm trying to stay positive, but it's not easy. Whenever I see, I think of all the things I've tried and failed to do, it makes me feel defeated and helpless. I can't help but wonder if there's something wrong with me, if I'm just not good enough. I'm scared that I'm going to pour all of my time, energy, and money into this with no returns. I'm scared to break the news to my family that this venture has been unsuccessful and that I've wasted all their support and faith. I'm scared of the unknown and of having to start from scratch. Every day I'm filled with doubt and fear, and sometimes I just want to give up. But I know that the only way to get ahead is to keep pushing forward, no matter how hard it seems. This is what I want, this is my passion, and I won't give up on it. I'm determined to make my dreams happen, and I'm going to keep fighting until I succeed. So pretty good. It always kind of gets optimistic at the end, right? But a lot of emotional stuff there. A lot of copywriting, if you don't have a background in it, is really emotional connection. And it's, it's, it's relating to your prospect and their current emotional state and then helping to get them into a more hopeful state, You know, promising that you can be an alchemist that transforms their emotion from one of you know, kind of uh, despair, frustration, whatever negative dominant emotion they have to one that is more positive. So, okay, cool. We got this, we're gonna go ahead and copy it and paste it into our document for fun. Here's the output, right? Okay, prop number two though, here's the thing. We generally talk to our prospect in the uh, copy, like we wanna say you, right? Like, hey, maybe you feel this way, perhaps you've experienced this. So to do that, all we need to do is put Re rewrite the above, but replace I with you. Sometimes I'll go up and I'll delete this uh, prompt that is above it. Shouldn't make a difference. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, you know what, one second actually. I don't want to do it where uh, use all capital I, so I'm going to do it like that. All right, so now we're talking to you, the prospect, right? You feel like you're stuck in a rut, you don't know how to get out, all you want to do is make a living, you're trying to stay positive, but it's not easy, you're scared, right, all that kind of stuff. Powerful stuff, let's go ahead and copy and paste that as well. I don't know why it highlighted in yellow, but all good. Let's go ahead and just sort of clean that up. 
All right, now for our last prompt. We're going to keep this stuff here, the U. We can delete everything else. And this is our money prompt for generating a lead. Use the above to write the first 600 words of a 5,000 word video sales letter script targeting your prospect and describe their pain point. Promise that if they keep watching, they'll see why the real reason they haven't been able to achieve or you know basically deal with their pain point, pain point is something called a nickname. You don't have to do this, I like a nickname. Do not explain what nickname is, simply tease them and say you'll explain it later in the video. So when I was doing this training for everybody over four days, we did coaching as an example, and we had something called the generalist dilemma, essentially being like, hey, one of the reasons you're failing as a coach is because you're not specializing, you're trying to be everything to everybody, uh, and then I used the prompt to generate all these nicknames for it. Again, I've got like 35 plus prompts, uh, but I'm not gonna go through all of those, you know, for free <laughs> are in this video. Um, I'll share more in the future, but anyway. So look, use the above to write the first 600 words of a 5,000 word video sales letter script targeting men who are struggling to get coaching clients. Promise that if they keep watching, they'll see the real reason, so I don't know why this is formatting is weird, they haven't been able to scale their online coaching business is something called the generalist dilemma. Do not explain what the generalist dilemma is, simply tease them and say you'll explain it later in the video. So, um, sorry. Okay, so watch, let's try it out. We're back here, we have this output we put before. Oh, know why this formatting got so weird, but let's fix that real quick. All right, so this was our prompt, right? Let's put it in here. All right, let's see it. Hey fellas, do you ever feel like you're stuck in a never ending cycle of rejection? You're pouring your time, energy, and money into your online coaching business and nothing seems to be happening. You're starting to feel that maybe you're just not good enough and uh, that your dreams will never be realized. I know how you feel. I was in the exact same situation six months ago. I decided to leave my old job and pursue my dream of starting up an online coaching practice, but no matter what I did, I couldn't seem to get enough clients to make a living out of it. I was starting to feel like all my efforts were in vain and I was considering giving up and going back to my old job. Well, I kept trying and eventually I realized that there was a deeper issue at play. I discovered something called the generalist dilemma and it changed everything. It was a huge turning point for me and it's the reason why I now have a successful online coaching practice. Now at this point, you're probably wondering what on earth is the generalist dilemma? Well, if you keep watching the video, you'll see why the real reason you haven't been able to scale your online coaching business is something called the generalist dilemma. I'm going to explain exactly what the generalist dilemma is and why it's preventing you from succeeding with your online coaching business. I'll also share with you the key steps I took to overcome it and start making a good living as an online coach. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, and anxious, and you're fed up with not getting the results you want, then I urge you to keep watching. I want to share with you the solution to the generalist dilemma so you can finally get the success you've been dreaming of. So if you're serious about building a successful online coaching business and you want to learn the secret to achieving it, then get ready because we're about to get started. Okay, is it perfect? No. Obviously, if you were writing, you'd have to adjust the part about the six months, leaving the job, make sure it was actually accurate. Um, but overall, it is not a bad lead. It's like a solid B lead, um, you know, from not an A plus lead, but a B lead, right? Uh, repeating the journalist dilemma a couple of times here, a little edits you'd make, but that's like a pretty decent lead, right? And Obviously, in this case here, I'm shooting this video, so we're coming up on like the eight and a half minute mark a little over that. But had I not been talking, you could have had this done in what, maybe two minutes? So that's just one example of how we can use AI, AI to write better copy. And don't forget, you can take this as a point of departure. Start with this and then modify your lead, add in all kinds of other stuff like curiosity, bullets, fascinations, and things of that nature. But I want to share, uh, it's pretty, pretty nifty and um, have a, you know, this is, these are prompts I kind of came up with on my own. If you want more of uh, this kind of stuff, obviously you can get on my email list, stephanpaulgeorgi.com, uh, or just find me on here on YouTube. Obviously, if you subscribe, I'm going to do more AI-related stuff soon and uh, check stuff out. All right. Thanks.